located at 100 South Broadway, Yonkers, New York, 10701. Our office hours are 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday through Friday. Please listen to the following options. For traffic matters, please press 1. For civil matters, please press 2. For criminal matters, please press 3. For integrated domestic violence courts, please press 4. For drug courts, please press 5. For the office of self-represented, Good afternoon. Uh, I need to speak to uh, a landlord and tenant um, person. Okay. Yes, um, Luisa Oyarsun has a court date uh, for New Year's Eve. It was supposed to be for December 21st, but the lawyer uh, for the landlord called her and said that he needs uh, until New Year's, um, New Year's to get a witness that he needs to interview. Uh, so he wants to postpone it. So we wanted to know the name of the judge so okay, we can wait, inform wait, wait, him. Wait, 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 hold on. Okay. First of all, what kind of a case are you talking about? Landlord and tenant's case. Do you have an index number? Yes. Hold on, let me see. Hold on, please. Okay. 6242-15. Okay, and who am I speaking with? This is uh, the caretaker for Luisa Oyarsun, Solange Martinez. The, okay. The lawyer is Mr. Castellanos. Right, okay. He called um, the day before yesterday, the 8th, uh, December 8th, and said that he needed uh, until New Year's, uh, New Year's to be able to interview a witness for him uh, that was out of town or something like that and okay. that he wanted to postpone the hearing. Okay. So um, we wanted to ask the name of the judge so we can inform him also about the postponement. Okay, well first first of all, there is, he hasn't made that request yet. Yes, and that's what we thought. Yeah, okay, so when he does, he, will, he should fax a letter to us and it doesn't go into it go to any judge in particular at this moment, um, but he will fax in a letter and then we will, as long as it's on consent, we will give you guys a new a new date. Oh, you give the date, not him. Right. Oh, okay. You may have to say that it's after, because we're not going to be hearing anything on December 31st. Okay. So you can't schedule, that, that, that date can't be scheduled, so... It's obviously going to have to be something in January. When he notifies us, he should copy you also, and then, you know, we will get the final approval for him. Oh. He knows, he knows what, how to do that. He, the attorney will send us the letter asking for the adjournment. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Do you know the name of the judge? Because we saw a judge, but I don't know if it's the same judge. I don't know see if one was assigned yet. Okay, I believe it's still going to be Judge In Law, the one that that scheduled the trial. So, in law, like law. One. Yeah, judge, judge In Law, right. In law, like my brother-in-law. Correct. Okay, perfect. Okay, okay, so you said uh, that the the Mr. Castellano know knows what to do, and he will see see uh, Luis Alvarez when he gets the date from the judge. Yes, he'll he'll send a letter to us asking for an adjournment, and then you'll be notified. Okay, okay, okay. thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye bye. If, Maybe. You, if you don't get notified, then you need to you need to assume that it's still scheduled for the twenty first. Okay. December. Okay. So if you don't get notified, then I suggest you show up. Okay. Um, All right. Okay, we will do. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye bye. Okay. Bye.